TGIM everybody, I'm so thankful the weekend is over. I love Mondays because I get to do what I'm most passionate about and that is trading. A couple things uh, that I want to tell you before you watch the video of today's session, trading session, and that is my best friend Paul is back up trading again. I'm so happy for that because I have somebody to speak to or talk to on the other side of the mic so to speak. Uh, but for whatever reason today while I was recording today's session, um, his voice wasn't recorded through the recording and it sounds like I'm talking to myself. I know it's ridiculous but it's going to be a little bit of amusing uh, for all the viewers uh, watching at home. Second, um, there's a technical difficulty on the uh, broker side, the broker that I used to trade to place my trades, their quotes or price quotes on the options were incorrect. Um, I got on the phone with a representative while I was on the phone with him. It seemed like um, all was well, all the prices uh, were where they should be. And I placed a trade still on the phone with the representative. I bought and I hung up, told my best friend about it. Um, even though the market action was going the uh, direction of my trade, the option prices were going the opposite direction. I immediately sold and um, thinking I sold at a loss, uh, turns out that that was not the case uh, before I uh, let you go. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I do need a hundred subscribers. I'll make a video tutorial of how I trade, what I look for, all the setups that you hear me talk about, everything that you need to know to succeed. I will make a video of it. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video with friends and family. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank goodness it is Monday. June 12th. We're just waiting for the opening bell to ring in about 30 seconds. Yo, what's up, man? Back at it again. It's weak, man. That five minute is weak. Crazy. How's the weekend, man? <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Damn, it is weak, man. Nothing at the moment is looking like we're going to be sitting here for, for a bit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Paul's back and now the market's a flat. No, I don't like the, I don't like how it's not strong. Um, the five minutes um, is, is very weak. Um, sure, it's, yeah, sure, like it's green, but like at any moment it can, it's, it can turn. So I'd rather, I'd rather just wait. There'll, there'll be other there'll be other uh, setups, man. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I know you hate me saying it, man, but I'm not gonna say it. But you know what I want want to happen right here. <laughs> Those uh, the calls of two forty three calls for Wednesday, they're moving a little um, sort of radically. I don't know if you've been watching it, but yeah, yeah, exactly. So we don't we don't want to be in these um, in these type of moves, even though there might be a move. Like, sure, you could have gone in when you first asked me about it. Um, gosh, one, two, three, four minutes into the bell, you could have probably squeezed uh, uh, some that that ten percent there. But I I don't ever want to be in that position where I'm just like, eh, you know what? It's kind of weak. Um, no, uh, maybe no, no. Screw that, dude. Just I've definitely have learned to be patient and and wait for for my setup to happen. Um, if you take a look at the uh, 15 minute, the uh, full stop, that that was another indicator that it's just pointing the opposite direction as uh, everything else. I love this, dude. I absolutely love this. I I know now my my setup pretty darn well. Dude, those forty three calls, they're not trading the yeah, they're not trading the way they it should be. There's something weird. Look at that, they're going up. Two forty three puts that expire on June fourteenth. I'm looking on Fidelity. It's one one oh one by one oh three. Let me go ahead and give them a call real quick, man. I got in on the 
puts the 243 puts for Wednesday. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I got in at a dollar. Uh, there's like a lag or something, man. Oh, I'm not liking this, man. I got out. Um, I can't see the prices. I got out at 106. I got in at a dollar and got out at at a dollar six, but I can't. the The markets are like right now. I see the bid and ask is at ninety nine by one hundred three. I I just I got out, man. I mean, I made money. <laughs> Did you see that that setup? Good, 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 good. I'm not liking that. Uh, the quotes are wrong here. Like I thought I was about to sell at a loss. Yeah. Dang it, man. Ah, oh well. Yeah, I made money. Um, yeah, that's definitely absolutely. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with making money, but look at that, dude. They're up to 118, but I still see the bid at 96 by 97. I like my strategy, though, dude. I love my strategy. Love it, dude. Love it, love it, love it. And I actually got in while I was on the phone with the representative. <laughs> I was like, to heck with it, man. Um, he's like, there's nothing wrong. And I was like, oh, no, there really is nothing wrong. And um, the bid and ask was, was correct. And then I got in and I got really nervous because literally the bid dropped um, below where I bought. And I was like, oh, man. This is not and then you were telling me that the markets were uh, going lower. I'm like, uh, I don't know what to do here. Dude, congratulations. Congratulations, man. Back at it again. Paul Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Brown is back. This is being recorded, by the way, this whole thing. It's going on my YouTube channel.